Hey gang, welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, we will once again be talking about the brand Lug. More specifically, their newest wallet called the Tendu or the Tandu. I'm not 100% sure how to actually pronounce the name. <laughs> I got mine in camo taupe and it is a very pretty, pretty wallet, but it is dainty. This will not be an everyday carry for me. Um, I can tell you that right now. It is definitely amazing if you want to stick it in the smaller bags, which I'll give some examples shortly after I go over the wallet. But yeah, this is not for me for every day. But let's go over the features. So you can see it has the beautiful cursive little metal logo right here. This really, really nice quilting. I don't know what exactly you would call it. And it does have a small zipper pocket on the back. Smooth zippers per lug standard. The only thing I have found with generally all the lug wallets I have is that sometimes this zipper can actually come open when it's in your bag. Um, normally what I would do if there was a wristlet attachment, which there is no wristlet attachment, I would actually affix a little uh, hook and loop to keep this closed, but it does not have that. So probably in here, I wouldn't keep coins. I would just keep maybe some receipts or some cards or something. When you open it up, you will find it opens up very small. I did find this to be kind of cumbersome when I was shopping uh, because once you start to put in not only all your cards or what you want to carry with you, once you start to put in receipts and things like that, it can get bulked up pretty quickly and kind of make for a tight fit when you want to put your hand in there to get things out. In the middle here, you do have another zippered compartment and that is where I kept my change. There are six card slots. That isn't enough card slots for me. Um, I actually have an app on my phone that I keep all my store cards, but then I have other cards that I bring with me. So I did find that I had to put a couple cards to these slip pockets. Now there are two slip pockets, which are very nice on either side. However, when you put in money, it does fit lengthwise, no problem, but it does go right up to the zippered closure. Um, so that could be an issue if you're trying to zip it up quickly and if it's cockeyed, it could get caught. That's not a deal breaker. Um, this is again, just going to be like a special occasion wallet or like if I need a smaller wallet to carry with me where I won't necessarily have to bring like my checkbook or things like that. So it does have the beautiful contrasting trim, which I always love because then you see exactly where your card slots are. So there's two card slots here two card slots here, and then two card slots on either side of this middle zippered compartment. The only thing is, I wish one of these were clear. Uh, that way you could just put in your license and know exactly where your identification is. I personally put my identification in one and my bank card in the other because my bank card really is the most used card I have. So I felt that was nice, easy access. As far as what you can fit in here besides your cards, I absolutely cannot fit my checkbook and I need to take my checkbook with me. I know that sounds weird, but I'm very old school. It will not fit. However, I did find that if I take a couple checks out, put them in where like the bill slots are, I can put a checkbook register in this wallet. However, it is a little bit close to the top. You see where it sticks out just a little, but it's still, after a little finagling, it still does zip up over the top. Also too, when you're putting in receipts, uh, I have a thin, gas station receipt that fits in, no problem. Zip it up, not an issue, fits in very nicely. However, when you get a wider store receipt, even though it fits lengthwise, you're having it stick up over the top. Now again, much like the flurry, all I do is just try fold it and stick it in there. Quite a bit of receipts or paper, a little bit cumbersome and bulky. Hi, editing Tina, really quick. Uh, one last thing I wanted to say about the wallet. If it was just a half an inch taller, 
um, I think that would be a vast improvement. Not so tall that it's as equally wide as the other lug wallets because I understand they wanted a you know smaller uh, silhouette overall, but I think if it was just that tiny bit higher, it would definitely help in accommodating your bills better, your coupons better, your receipts better, and your checkbook register or what have you better. But that is my personal opinion. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye. That is that. I do like this wallet. Um, again, though, it will not be an everyday carry. I like it for uh, special occasions when I'm carrying a smaller bag, but I still want to carry a wallet. I do have the flurry to compare it to. It is definitely a smidge thinner, so it's more slimline than the Flurry. Um, so yeah, there is that. So both of these wallets are great when you wanna stick them into smaller bags. Now, example, so I have a vegan leather coupe. Um, it does not fit in here. There, there's just no getting it in here, though if it could, it would fit very nice. Then I have a regular fabrication, normal size coupe. Same thing, does not fit. So unfortunately, if you want to carry the coupe, you can't carry the wallet with you. It does, however, fit in the coupe XL, which is a little redundant because there is a very nice built-in wallet with the coupe XL. But if for some reason you want to carry a wallet with you, it does fit in there, allows you to zip it up and still very nice and slim. However, you will not be putting anything else really in that back pocket. Another bag that I found actually that it works quite beautifully for is your stretch, especially this front pocket. It fits in there and then you can have the rest of the bag to put everything else in. So that is very, very convenient. If you have a wings, um, which I actually got this through a wonderful swap, it obviously could fit very comfortably into this insulated pocket, but I like to reserve that for like snacks and protein bars or what have you. So there is a pocket right behind that insulated pocket. It fits very nicely in there. And then again, leaving the rest of the bag for you to carry anything else that you might like to carry with you. Here is an Alpine. I really like the concept of this wallet for the Alpine. Sometimes you want a slimmer profile wallet with this bag, just so it doesn't get too cumbersome. I usually use the wristlet slash wallet pouch from my tenor in here. Um, or, you know, I have used my Quick Step. I have used my Splits XL. But generally speaking, sometimes, especially depending on which personal planner I'm carrying, I like a slimmer profile wallet. This actually fits really beautifully in the main compartment. And then you have plenty of room to spare. It does, however, obviously not fit in the front. I was very excited because I thought this is the Navigator. I thought that this would actually fit in the front pocket of the Navigator. Ah, almost, almost, but it doesn't but pop it right in the middle there, plenty of room for other things. So those are just a few examples. Obviously you could fit this in any bag that you want. I just wanted to kind of give an example of the smaller bags. I do like it. I think it's really pretty. I like the way it feels. It's very light. Even when you pack it up with all your things, it still remains light, uh, which is definitely a wonderful feature of love products in general. I was toying with the idea of returning this, I'm not going to lie, um, just because I didn't feel that I would use it enough, but I think I will just keep it in my collection for now. So that's it for this video. Once again, I appreciate you all taking the time out of your day to watch, and I hope you all have a good one. Thanks.